Owen McKendry for ESPR Boxing. Delighted to be joined with the victorious Jason Cunningham. Jason, sum that performance up for me. Uh, got the rounds in the bank, did what I needed to do, uh, enjoyed myself and uh, secured the win, which means we move on to Liam Davis. That's what I wanted, that's what I achieved. After last time out, obviously with the big knockout, how important were those rounds tonight and generally just getting through those ropes again? Yeah, it, it, it were a big factor, obviously. July last year, uh, probably answered me, you know, questions to a lot of demons as well. Um, you know, a lot of people asking what's he got left or all the rest of it. As you go, I'm going to do. Uh, and I think I've answered there's plenty there left. And, you know, like I said, the most important thing, getting them rounds in the tank, uh, banking the win above all else. Another title to collection. And like I say, just onto big, big domestic fights now. He was quite an awkward opponent, you know. He was looking, as soon as you'd get on the inside, he'd be looking to tie you up. He wanted to go head to head at times. Was that something you was expecting or did something you had to adapt to? Uh, I didn't mind. I knew we were going to come out winging, you know, winging shots to begin with. So I had to use my feet to begin with. That was the whole plan. You keep him long, work my jab, uh, use my boxing skills. And then the second half of the fight, but we stand there a little bit more, work on inside. You know, just obviously keep keep my eye, keep tall, but nice and tucked up, and uh, just work away with him. Um, I had him going a few times, and obviously we're whinging a lot to ref as well, moaning. So uh, I thought I may have had him out there at one point, but he, you know, fair play to me, stuck in, but a win's a win. And then we do have to move on to that. A successful night tonight means the Liam Davis fight. The reception will be slightly different, I'm sure, next time out. But how excited are you for that fight? Yeah, I'm excited. This is what it's all about. I keep saying over and over again, and you know, um, you know, Liam's obviously going to be looking forward to it as well. It's a big domestic fight. Uh, as you said before, I've got a name. I've been around the block a long time, uh, and he's in my way now to getting back to where I was before. You know, there's a lot on at stake for both of us, and uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. I quite enjoy Telford. They might not like me next time, but I do. I do enjoy it. It's a good show, and uh, yeah, I can't wait. What do you make of the fight between yourself and Liam? Because stylistically, I think it is quite a close matchup. Would you say? Would you think that's fair to say? Close in height, close in yeah, you name it, range, close in boxing ability. Close in, we both don't mind having to go either, so it's a great fight. You know, it might probably be a game of chess at times, uh, but you know, we both don't mind letting his hands go either, so yeah, looking forward to it. I'll probably more now. Now, no, I needed to get this one out of the way tonight, first and foremost. I couldn't look beyond uh, Gonzalez, never look a lot of a look at an opponent anyway. Now that is done, now I can look at Davis, we'll study him a little bit more. Uh, you know, we know that he's next, so like I said, once I get tonight out of the way first, I mean, I did do. That's it, so all there is to be said, let's go. So obviously initially it was meant to be April the 29th. Is there a new date set in stone yet or is it working? I'm not sure yet. Like I say, I've not even gone into, into talking in terms of anything with the Queensbury anyone because I need to get tonight out of the way first anymore. So, yeah, we can sit down and talk now. See what's going in store for me. And then one thought I did want to question you on, uh, because of the division, Yonat Baluta, Andrew Kane, an absolute war tonight. What did you make of that? I, I didn't see it because I was in the back, but I could hear back and forth, crowd, oh, there was something like didn't change room watching that phone and every two minutes, oh, 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 so it sounded like it was a cracking fight, which I think people kind of expected that anyway. Uh, I think Baluto were down early, is that right, isn't it? So same again, and then Kane were out late on, so is it a case? Oh, no, no, sorry, well, it's a split decision, weren't it? Just thinking there, but, but Kane was down, yeah. that's right. So um, I don't know, it's one of them, and actually it's a 10 round fight, it's not a case of over in a few rounds and Baluto. Fair play to him, he's a tough man, he sticks in there. And then the one final thing I did want to ask you about, I was looking through it, the rankings British-wise, there's so many super bantamweights active at the moment. Not looking past Liam Davis, but are there any ideal domestic matchups that would sort of take your fancy? No, I think they're all, I think they're all in Queensbury. Davis is the one because he's got my old titles. We're both highly world ranked. It's easy, easy fight to make. We're both a Frank, so that's you know I don't need to look any further than that. Like I said, there's the likes of Kane. Obviously, Baluta's going just to him now, but then Davis has beat Baluta, so it's it's me and Davis, isn't it? It's got to be that one next. Jason, thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations. Thank you.